We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Second down and 10 to go. Ten, ball on the 25. Go. Throws complete. He's got room to work. About four yards on that play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. The Buffaloes and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Third and five. Ball on the 14. Three down, three down. I don't know. Check that. Check that. We're going to Mike 52 right here. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at about the five yard line. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. Second down. Touchdown, Colorado! And he tacks on the extra point. So a six-play, 65-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Colorado's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. 
That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Hit. And two. X. Hit. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Second and five, ball on the 49. It's a great tackle at the 42. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. that takes the field on fourth down. Black five, black five, hit. Go. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Tackle at the 21-yard line. This guy is so versatile. You can use him at the line as an extra blocker or send him downfield like another wide receiver. Either way, he's a great resource on every down. the 21-yard line. It's first down. And they make the stop around the 17-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive horse nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. And he shoved out of bounds around the 16-yard line. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Kansas is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. They're about four yards away here on second down. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Buffaloes lead 7-3. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Colorado is up four. Go. Alert, alert, steamer, steamer, alert. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Go, go. 
He might have a chance. He's at midfield. And they bring him down at the 35-yard line. Great execution on that option play, and they get a big gainer on third down. They can rip holes in a defense. four-yard line. It's second down. Defense can never lose tabs on it. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Colorado is up by four. 629. And he just gets rid of it. Here's the eighth play of the series. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes, right around the 16-yard line. Six yards. That'll bring up third and four. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. On the pass, touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. One of the things a quarterback's looking for before the ball is snapped on a post route is to see if he has one safety in the middle of the field. Because with one safety, you can use your eyes to move that safety and then throw back the other way for the touchdown. I thought the quarterback that time did a really good job of managing that safety and eventually making the throw for the touchdown. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Set, Oklahoma! You know, at that point, I think Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make the play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Nice run up the middle. to buy some time and he's taken down at about the 49 from the 49 yard line first down got a man wide open and it goes through his hands number 19 the intended receiver on the play that makes it second and 10 Check nine, check nine. 43 is the mic. Now he's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. Loss of six on the 
And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. And he hits him hard, the 39-yard line. Brad, not only do they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. He takes it in at the 14. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Buffaloes are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Right down. And got him! Tackle made around the 11-yard line really difficult to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And even when you double-team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. Second and eight. Ball on the nine-yard line. Hey, pick your game up. Go. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. Throws a strike over the middle, and he's hit immediately. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. it to the 34. So at the end of the half, Colorado leads it 17-3. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So 
you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? They get about four on that keeper. That's a deep four on one way. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 29-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Down of bounds around the 44 yard line. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44 yard line. He's taken down around the 45 yard line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. He gets to about the 34 yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Play action. He'll scramble. Inside the 10. Slings it. And he finally steps out at the three. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Two ties, two ties. Here we go. Watch seven. And he's leveled at the one yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Brought down at the one. From the one yard line, it's third down. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That brings us fourth and goal. Converts the extra point. Colorado is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Colorado's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. The Cavalry's coming. And he tackles him hard at the 27. From their own 27-yard line, second down. He steps out around the 29-yard line. Slings it out and it gets tipped. They know what to expect on third down and we're right in place to break up the pass. That'll make it fourth and six. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. Nice yardage on the run back. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Gain of four on the play. That brings up second and five. From their own 41 yard line, it's second down. Watch the screen. Take a Motion. Motion. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The misdirection play gets him four yards. Third down. Take a Sensing floor. Tries to get around the corner. And they push him out right around the 40. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 40. He's at the 30, and they make the stop at the 24. That makes it first and 10. They'll bring him down at the 12-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 12. Tackle at about the nine yard line. We head to the fourth. The Buffaloes with a three touchdown advantage. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Roger, Roger. My 52. I got him. At 268. He's in trouble. Runs with it, and he's got room. And down he goes at the three-yard line. Game of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. They'll line it up again on third down. Stop your whining. And they got all the big boys in there for this one. He's going to come up short. Good tackle.
Kicks away, and it is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Quick strike, and he drops it. Well, that is big hit by the defense there. Good job of timing up the hit, and he didn't get there too early for the pass interference. He waited till the receiver touched the football, and then he was able to dislodge the ball from the receiver. Makes the catch, and look out. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Catches it, and that's all. They'll get six yards. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. yard line. First down. Out of bounds to 32 yard line. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Red two. Going over the middle, intercepted. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. He's taken down at the 49. That's a team 14 yards on the play. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 49. Less than three minutes in the game. it to the 37. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 34. The halfback picks up a yard. Woo! I think everybody in the stadium felt that hit. He really laid some lumber there.
This one's in the books. The Buffaloes get the win, 27-3. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.